Hey, hey, what is shaking, homies? So today I got a micro yo yo up for an unboxing and review. So this is the new release from Rain City Skills, and it is a tiny, tiny yo yo. It is a little bit bigger than the Mighty Flea, so it's not like the smallest yo yo, but it's pretty darn close. So I'm really excited about this. It came in this cool little package, and also came with some trading cards and stuff. So I'll show you guys all that. So let's get into it, you guys. So here is the pouch it comes with, and really cool. It looks like a fake snakeskin type pouch. Uh, and then in uh, here we got a little. Looney sticker, super awesome. Shout out to all my Canadian homies and relatives. And we got a little chocolate too. So, delicious. All right, and then also do it came with these cards. So I got Mr. McDoyo Thor, it's like a Pokemon card. Awesome. And these are his special moves. Off string to the head. <laughs> we got Daniel Kessler. And we got Dazzling Dave Schulte. The big circle. <laughs> okay, so now let's check out the yo-yo. So, yeah, so supposedly this yo-yo is super small, but it's big enough where you can still do tricks with it and it doesn't just feel like a rock at the end of the string. So, very small. Here's it next to a Mighty Flea. So, definitely not as small as a Mighty Flea. Quite the difference. Still very tiny. Um, here's it next to a Shuriken. Um, so much smaller than a shuriken, but quite a bit larger than a mighty flea. It's kind of right in the middle there. So yeah, he said it just, he designed it so it didn't feel like a rock at the end of the string, so you could actually do tricks with it, because the mighty flea, you have to be pretty darn advanced to do anything with it, and it's got a very limited spin time. Um, so it has a small center track bearing, like a size A center track. Stainless steel axle, white pads. Um, let's see, it retails for $37. And here, let's see what other info I got here. So it's it, the width is 26 millimeters, the diameter is 32 millimeters, and the weight is 65.4. Okay. And then everything it comes with, um, these strings are called the sun shower strings that are in here as well so yeah so these strings are nice and thin so you can use them on this yo-yo so they should work very well with this yo-yo so very cool and uh yeah and i really like this though this is pretty neat just a lot nicer than a lot of these like little bags yo yo's come in sometimes you know this one feels legit like you could put you know i don't know your money in there or whatever so really cool so yeah um enough talking let's string this baby up let's see if i can pull off anything Alright guys, we are all strung up here, and this yo-yo is so small that if I close my fist, it disappears. You can't see it. <laughs> okay, first throw in this yo-yo. It is nice and unresponsive, and the yo-yo feels like it's got a lot of, like it's spinning fast. It's got a lot of heat coming off of it. Now this yo-yo is actually dead smooth. I'm not getting any fingernail vibe. The only vibe I'm getting at all is when the string touches the pad a little. Because of the small gap, obviously. Now, let's... Okay, so these little yo-yos are fun for trying to do like whip tricks <laughs> because they're going to make you like really, really accurate and it makes it really challenging. Also, like basically anything. Now, the problem with the Mighty Flea yo-yo, that yo-yo, like you couldn't really, you could, but you couldn't really do anything hard. It didn't have a long spin. It was very unstable. This one, you, this yo-yo you can actually still, you know, do legit tricks with. It spins long enough. It's stable enough. Like it's super, super tiny, uh, but yeah, it's freaking awesome. Also, too, this is going to make, basically, you more accurate at everything. Like, oh man, that's hard. <laughs> like your boingy boings. Or like uh, any whips, obviously, or uh, Eli hops. Like, if you can Eli hop on this, you, you can Eli hop. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just it's it's really cool. Never before have I had a yo-yo this small that was as playable that I could you know still do legit tricks on, and just like trying to do whip tricks and stuff on here is really really fun and challenging. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just so fun to land whip tricks on here. 
This string too is also quite nice. It suits the yo-yo really well. I'm not really, I'm getting a slight slipping. And not too bad though. I'm actually getting pretty good, pretty good binds. Oh, whoa, whoa. A nice thing too that this yo-yo is so little, if you, little yo-yos like this, if you're new to snap, snap starting, you should learn how something like this because it's more just like regular snapping your fingers. When you have a big yo-yo, it's like, it's almost like you're turning. When you practice on something like this, like you can get it hauling just by snapping your fingers and then, you know, move on to a bigger yo-yo um, once you got it down. So yeah, this is a, this would be a great yo-yo if you're trying to learn how to snap start. Like you literally just grab it really tight and snap your fingers like, well, <laughs> it works great. I'm uh, really impressed with this. There is like a thumb grind lip on this, but my thumbs are just, is they're like as big as the whole yo-yo, so I can't really do it. I'll try it once, but there's no way I can do this. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh, maybe. Oh, I did it, holy crap. Okay, you can thumb grind on here. I didn't, like literally, like look, my thumb is like as big as it. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> so really cool. Um, but yeah, really, like for how small it is, it's actually still like really stable and rim weighted. Like you can tell that by like doing these gyroscopic flops. So you always, I'm still able to control it really well. And it's really difficult here to keep the string in the middle um, because just of how small the yo-yo is. But like this yo-yo is really, really stable. Did I go the wrong way? Yep. Almost caught it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, really, really impressed with this. For a tiny little yo-yo, this is killer. Like this is this is literally as big as like some change you have in your pocket. So this isn't gonna drive you crazy uh, if it you know is in your pocket. And I just love how it's super tiny, but it's not like too small where you can't pull off tricks, you know. Oh come on. Oh darn. Yeah, freaking awesome. Blown away with this. Yeah, if you had the Mighty Flea and you, you liked it, but you just wished it could do more, or wished it was like, a, you know, get get this, you, you'll really be impressed with this. And the price is really cheap. A lot of these little yo-yos, like, retail for quite high. This is pretty cheap. I know he said he took a lot of inspiration on the Aota Littles, which was also, like, a cheaper, tiny yo-yo. I never played with one, I don't think. But I believe it was probably bigger than this thing. Well, but yeah, it makes everything really challenging. It's kind of like playing on expert level, which is always fun. So um, yeah, I can't recommend this yo-yo enough. Super hyped on this. Something I can have in my pocket, and you know, it's it's in my pocket is no big deal, you know? It's it's not like having a giant yo-yo in your pocket is a pain in the ass. And you know, you know this is, you wouldn't even care. So um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jeremy, so much for this. Also, I'll be reviewing the duck very soon. So if you like this video and you want to check out a yo-yo that's a little bit bigger, but still not too big, uh, check out the duck. We'll be Looking at that shortly. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace out.